all right you've probably seen these designs that have these um rectangles or shapes with dotted edges right and usually it's done with photoshop i don't know if it's done with corel draw but then i used it in this particular fly here and what this video is about is me showing you how you can achieve this same thing in pixel lab this is the um series tricks on pixel lab that i started few days ago on my channel and this is episode three so open up your pixel lab if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and if you're returning please like this video and leave a comment so you want to bring in your shape let's just use like a rounded a rounded triangle with five radius and then centralize it right so um once you once you have your rectangle ready and centralized what you want to do is to give um let's let's just see reduce the opacity okay reduce the opacity then add stroke the stroke is just one and let it be white let it be white you can change the color later on but let it be white so reduce the fill opacity to like 13 and then the stroke opacity to like 46 but the stroke width is one just pay attention to what is on your screen carefully then now we have our rounded rectangle next thing you want to do is go to text and add a new text you can just add a new text from wherever then you want to add this symbol maybe capital i or anything that looks straight there's another symbol on the keyboard if you tap you'd see this other symbol you can use capital i was i'm trying to show you the symbol but it seems that i cannot do that with my keyboard but this particular symbol here yes just add it add as many as you can you can just copy so let's just copy the whole thing and paste 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 so that um it will be easier for us so you just want to have it in a straight line i think we have too much so let's reduce it let's reduce it so you just want to have it in a straight line and not too they should not be too clustered so of course it will be centralized and just raise it up raise it up carefully then give it a color that is entirely not in your in your square in your rounded rectangle a different color our rectangle is white so let's just give it like a green color something that is abstract that is different from what we are designing make sure it is centralized and pay great attention to the distance from the edge of the rectangle to where that text started from okay so you just want to copy and paste down then copy rotate and paste on the left hand and also on the right hand side you really want to pay attention to the distance so that the, the the spacing is equal and so that it looks neat and to achieve this you can zoom in you can always zoom in so this what i mean is this distance here between from the green to the square let it be the same use your i don't know use your designer eye to like measure it you see this one is a bit out so it needs to go in a little i think Bring down this one is okay this is actually looking equal um it's actually or maybe not so equal but okay yes that this one needs to go inside a little bit just a little um there will be a way to measure that using grid lines but then um i i wouldn't want to make this video long you can just use your eye and eyeball it so you just want to merge every single thing both the square and all of the icons that you just the green stuff just merge select everything and be careful when you're merging on pixel lab make sure everything is set the way you want it make sure the size of your rectangle is set because once you merge you cannot merge so just select everything then go to erase color tap on it and enable it then use the dropper tool to select the green part of the design just any of those green parts you see the green just follow it till the green appears brightly then select it so you see it takes away every of those things then we just want to um, give this a different color let's just use white then crop crop out the excesses just crop out the excesses and yes you actually have your dotted rectangles you can now copy it and use it as many times as you want in your design like that so you can see very simple very easy very classy very the meal that is as simple as it gets and if you notice at all that there are lapses in the distance or it's not looking so good you adjust you can undo your merging and readjust then re-merge again really really simple um to do this for a circle you also follow the same way now you can also do this for a circle you can follow the same way but this time around you just need two i think two yes so you want to go to curve and curve 
this inwards and move it around the edges of the circle and this one is a bit tricky and most times it would not work but then let's just see so we just want what will fill this space okay that's just what we want so adjust the the curve of the text and when you get perfect stuff they just delete that one copy this one and rotate rotate it 180 degrees yeah so you can now centralize take it up um as you can see it's not really covering but we don't have the we don't have all day we don't have all the time to like you know keep i am um, what do you call it we don't have all the time to keep checking so you can just just keep adjusting but you already get the idea you add add more of those i i icons and increase this the the curve and reduce the curve and so on and so forth same method merge everything together then go to erase color tap on the green side tap on the erase color select the green then change the color of the shape to your preferred color so let me just show you how to use the grid lines to ensure that you maintain you see now this is what i was saying this one looks as if it entered inside so much that one did not so let me just show you how you can use the grid grids up there to um maintain that level of what do you call it to make sure that everything is equal so you just place grids on the two edges of you know the top and the down just follow carefully this can be tricky follow carefully then see that place i circled tap on it note the position that's 68 for the down one so you want to raise this one to where you desire it to be and click on that note it 66 so 68 minus 66 is 2 so the difference is just 2 pixels 68 minus 66 is 2 so 2 pixels so we've noted that then tap on the, the one on top on top and note also note the okay add another one below first then note the size that's 28 28 plus 2 should be 30 so distance here should be 30 wait that's, that's a mistake there's a mistake somewhere okay this is the one i'm supposed to not I'm supposed to take this one in and then 31 plus 2 that should be 33 yes 33 so this should be on 30 33 right yes 33 yes so this is the correct distance so you shift this to come down and touch the second line inside for both of them to be equal you can do the same thing for the square method but already i know you already get the gist so merge the same the same thing for whatever shape you want to do and i'm very very sure that you found this video really helpful this was episode three of the series tricks on pixel lab and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one if you're not yet subscribed please make sure you subscribe i mean subscribe now on this channel like teach graphic design video editing and everything in between how to make money from it my name is medica israel this is the portal of value i'll see you guys in the next one please subscribe subscribe